Well, thank you for joining us. First at five tonight, Memphis businesses are asking city leaders to step up after downtown's first deadly shooting since Memphis police launched a new safety plan around Beale Street. Memphis police say it happened around 3 a.m. on Sunday on South Main Street and Pontotoc Avenue. Now take a look at your screen. Police say someone took off in this car after they shot and sent three people to nearby hospitals. One person died and two others are recovering. MPD does believe that this was a targeted attack. Businesses are scared for what this means for the future of Main Street. Our Stefan Reels is out there right now. And Stefan, I'm sure downtown business morale feels low considering there was just a mass shooting around there a few weeks ago. Yes, Pepper, like you just said earlier, there is a lot of worry down here. As you can see right next to me, there are still bullet holes in nearby businesses on Main Street from Sunday's shooting. And a lot of people are concerned, even so much that they don't want to go on camera to talk about this out of a fear of retaliation. So now businesses down here in Main Street are asking Memphis City leaders to expand their services with a downtown safety plan. However, as we're learning today, that might not be happening anytime soon. Over a day later, the shock still remains for Memphians like Henry Yates. I just don't understand why people can't get it together. The fallout from Sunday's deadly shooting is still very much present, from bullet holes at nearby businesses to the cleanup just across the street. Yates says it's enough. Together, there's different ways you can settle arguments without killing each other. While MPD's investigation into what happened Sunday is still underway, fear of what comes next is filling the minds of business owners like Erica Smith, Absolutely. who just celebrated her store's eighth anniversary on Main Street. Everyone's scared. People aren't wanting to come out as much. We're seeing that and hearing that from customers. Since Memphis police launched its new downtown safety plan after a mass shooting earlier this month, crime on Beale Street has declined. And people like Smith and Yates want to see the plan spread all over Memphis throughout the rest of the city. Yeah, I'm scared for my staff to leave work at night by themselves. Right behind the building, we've had close to a dozen in the past year of employees' cars getting broken into. We reached out to MPD to see what their plans were moving forward. They told us in an email, the Memphis Police Department is continuing to monitor the downtown area and will make adjustments as needed. But at this time, no new adjustments have been made. Despite this answer, Smith says this is not going to stop the community from finding a solution. Focusing on the positivity, but getting you know the right people in office that are going to make the changes that we need to um, start moving in the right direction. And Pepper, as you can imagine, people are wanting to know how leaders are going to be tackling crime moving forward. So they're keeping an eye out on the city council elections as well as the next mayoral election to see what people are saying is going to happen. Live in downtown Memphis, I'm Stephen Reels. Crime continues to be a hot topic, Stephen. Thank you. Well, new